everyone, so this is going to be how to use green screen or chroma key in Final Cut Pro. This is going to open up your options for transitions and effects so much more. You're going to have so many options for my animations and I really think it's a really cool way to really step up your video editing. Um, so here I have Final Cut Pro and I will be doing one on iMovie so wait for that. But here I have one of my doodle animations which is available for free on my channel. All you have to do is download it. I would say um, go to your favorite video downloader, I don't, or you can screen record, whatever you want to do. Um, but I cannot make a video on that because YouTube flagged me for it last time. So I'm not going to be doing that, but you guys can pretty much just search vi YouTube video edit downloader or something like that and you can find something. But So you want to have your green screen and you want to have the clip that you want to put it on top of. What you want to do is you want to take this green clip and just drag it on top to wherever you want it. Now if it's a transition, you might have to put it like between two clips. But if it's just a regular effect, you just add it on top. Then what you can do is you can take this and you can go to the transform tool and you can move this around or make it bigger depending on what you want. Um, so like this. Um, or you could even make it smaller, whatever you really want to do. Just know that um, if you make it smaller, there may not be like enough green around it and you might see these little lines um, which I'll show you how to fix but this is what it's going to look like. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure to select that clip and go to the effects tool and go to keying and then you want to see keyer and you just drag this clip over top whoop, drag it right over to that clip and then drop it and you'll see that it goes away. So what this basically does is it removes any sort of green so now you just have the effect over top of your video. So this particular effect you just add text on top so you just go to your text tool and add it on top but say you like look at it now and you still want to like resize it just click on it again and click transform and you're able to resize it to whatever you want now also another cool effect is in Final Cut Pro you can actually change the opacity of this so just click on it and go to video and scroll all the way down until you see opacity and then you're able to decrease the opacity another thing you're able to do is click on that and go to show color board Go to saturation and you could increase the saturation so if you wanted the colors to be a little bit more vibrant you could do that. But that's basically how you use green screens in Final Cut Pro. Now let me go ahead in and show you for instance if you had something that you wanted to make smaller like a green screen and you wanted to make it smaller. Um, let me see if I have, I should have something in here. Okay, so let's get one of these. Okay, so this is a perfect example. So you see how it's like too small for the video. So when I put it over top, you can still see me in the background. What you're going to do is you can, if you want it to be remain that size, then just grab key over top. But in some instances, you may see like this weird line come up. If you do, just click on that and go to crop and it'll show you these little lines and just bring them in. That way you won't see any weird lines. So... Now it will look like this and then you could also go ahead in and resize this by going to transform and make it bigger. But yeah, those are the basics of using green screens in Final Cut Pro. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any questions, please be sure to let me know down below in a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye.